Hello, I'm Matthew and we're here. In this video, I'll be reviewing Analyzing Internals, which is now on Disney+. Plus. I realized it came out in theaters back on November 5th, 2021. If you've seen my Sean Sheehan Legend and Tim Reigns review, I would have told you I've not seen a movie since March 2020 in a movie theater. Spider-Man No Way Home was my first and only movie so far that I've seen in a theater since March 2020. With COVID-19, it just makes it hard to do that. For most of my movies right now, I've been watching my movies in the comfort of my own home. I also want to say thank you for helping me reach 250 subscribers and thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I still need more help in getting to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Now on with the review. The movie starts out in 5000 BC and it takes place with them going to Mesopotamia. As anyone knows, that a study history. Mesopotamia is where the first civilization is supposed to take place. That is historically accurate in what I remember from taking history back in high school and in college. They're there to help with fighting the deviants and that was their purpose. The story does an excellent job using flashbacks. They go to Babylon and then to Gupta Empire and then to South America in the 1500s after Columbus arrived in the Americas. The movie also jumps to Hiroshima in 1945 when the atomic bomb was invented where the viewer sees the dust cloud that comes from an atomic bomb explosion. Cersei is dating Dane Whitman who is mortal and is played by Kit Harington and is not Dane and Eternal at the time. Cersei got married to Icarus who was played by Richard Madden. The mortals she is dating asked, did Icarus fly too close to the sun is why he left you. Icarus known in Greek legend to fly too close to the sun, and it melted his feathers and he fell to his death. Icarus reminds me of Superman, and he flies like him and shoots lasers out of his eyes like he does. I like this character, and he wears a cape like him. Fastos, who's played by Brian Tyree Henry, makes fun of Icarus and says after his son called him Superman, he called him Clark Kent in this movie. This was in Chicago, which FYI is where Riri Williams, aka Ironheart, comes from. Yes, I believe Marvel is teasing the viewers that by having the viewers go to Chicago. Chicago is where Widows took place that Brian Terry Henry played in as well. Dane Wetman, that Cersei is dated in present day, asked her, Why did you not help us against Thanos? She answered him, You need to be able to grow as a species, and we were instructed not to. Get involved unless deviants were involved. Dane Whitman is an important character in Marvel in that he is the Black Knight. Sprite also told him about the deviants. Sprite is like Tinkerbell and Peter Pan, who is a kid, according to Kingo, who is played by Kamal Nahan, who was in Stuber, by the way. The one who controls minds is Drug, and he is the first to leave as he was frustrated by the leadership of Ajax, played by Selma Hayek, and feels that we are not helping humans. He says that he can stop their conflict with just a bot. He is right, but he is taking away people's free will by doing that. The one who reminds me of Flash and Quicksilver is called Makari, and she can run like both speedsters. She is deaf, but is good at feeling people's vibrations and knows when they try to take advantage of her. She is a collector and likes to have what we call memorabilia, a very place in time that she has visited. I would agree with Alex Yu, who does Rage and Ronin Review, that Rotten Tomatoes needs to get new reviewers. This movie was different than any other Marvel movies, and I liked this movie. I loved how Sally Hayek played Ajak, who is the leader of this group. I loved Angelie Jolie's performance as Fina. Fina was having her mind wiped and she was remembering things that she had done that she was not proud of. Fina tells Cersei, you have loved this people since you came here. Gilgamesh told her that he loved her and if you love something, then you must fight for it. That is what they do. They decide it is the right thing to do. These characters remind me of Greek and Roman guards and how they are gods, but they possess human emotions. There's a traitor in the group, and I will not tell you as not to spoil the ending. It does bring us to the climax of the story. The opening crawl felt like Star Wars. It was nice to see 
And there is a Star Wars reference in this movie when we get to Chicago. I get the story a 10 out of 10 rating. I personally like that it was Depper and that it's a thinking movie. It makes you think and there is action. Even a comic book movie does not need to be bang and shoot all the time. Sometimes it is good to have something that can tell you a story and makes you think about the consequences to decisions that people can make. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Please hit the notification bell at the bottom of this video to be notified of any views that come on the channel. Please consider checking out my other channel called Tiger Man, which I used to promote my books that I wrote on that character. Please let me know what books, movies, and TV shows you let me review next in the comment section below. Please share this video with your friends, family, and my channel can grow. Thank you and have a wonderful day.